your mama, your daddy, your uncle, and your Brother lost his mind, okay? This is what I call an emotional terrorizer. So angry, so in your emotions that you don't think about nobody else. You want to protect your daughter. That's a righteous move. But you done hopped on a bus and called a little girl a B. And you closing the distance on her. The bus driver got to get in the way. Like if he didn't get in the way, what was you going to do? And you trying to protect your daughter, right? So you think that's the best way to handle it? This is what I mean right here, yo. They, they be so in their emotions, they'll destroy the whole world to save themselves. This is crazy. What would y'all do if that was y'all child on this bus right here? You Wow. Now already family, this is not how you handle this situation. You got the bus driver trying to hold him back because he looks like he wants to close the distance on a little girl. He's calling her out, out of her name. And now he's making threats, telling her, if you touch my little girl again, you're going to have to get your mama, your daddy, and that family. Is this the way you handle this? I know you love your daughter. You want your child to be safe. You don't want your child being bullied. But the way you handle it is going to get you locked up if you go about handling it like this. And you got to be an example. This is not setting an example on how not to bully. Now, look at the little girl. Watch what she does. Watch this, family. Now look at this, daughter trying to make it back there to the little girl, trying to climb over the seats. The bus driver is the one trying to hold her back from doing something that'll get her in trouble. But the father, he ain't even recognizing this. He said he's just looking in the back, pointing with a blunt in his hand, making threats to seven-year-olds. This is absolutely unreal, y'all. Let's continue. Now you got these little children trying to explain to this grown man who touched who and what went on. You got kids crying like he's literally on here terrorizing these children, talking about leave my daughter alone. This is the last way you want to handle this family. Let's continue. So you hear him, right? This go for everybody on this bus. He gonna flip the whole bus with everybody on it if you don't leave his daughter alone. Now he knows if, if another man got on there and made this threat to his daughter, it would have been a wrap. So this is a way to inflame the situation, make it much worse because now the parents of these children are gonna wanna have a few words with him. 
Okay? And by words, I mean hands. Let's go. I mean that. I mean that. I'm going to for everybody over here. Touch my door again. I'm going to flip this whole button. I'm not playing. You don't let nobody touch my kids, bro. I'm not playing, bro. All that bully yeah, shit. Ain't nobody all, doing that, it. all that big bully shit. Y'all got going on. I'm not playing. You want to get your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your wife. No, let me say no. Now you got people outside the bus watching and look like they probably waiting to get on the bus. Looks like it's probably over something that happened yesterday. So the little girl now ain't gonna get on the bus. I'm sure she's not gonna go on here to school now because how you gonna keep them off each other, right? Um, but I don't know who this other lady is outside the car. Look like she's talking to somebody else outside the bus. I don't know if she's talking to somebody else or what, but hopefully she's not like an instigator, like fueling the whole situation. I, I, I would like to see her more like trying to tell this man to calm down because, man, her children potentially ride this bus. It just happened a couple of streets down when she ain't on the machine around and some other man yelling at some other ch child and her children are on the bus now having to witness this. I'm sure she wouldn't have the same type of attitude, you know, but just pointing that out, man. I, I'm just hoping that she's not fueling the situation because this is not the way to behave. And I, I've seen women act like this um, mostly. When I was growing up, women hopping on, the, hopping on the bus, doing the same stuff, running to the school, cussing everybody out. And it's just not the way to handle uh, your child's interactions. You're not on the bus to know what's going on. You're not at the school to know what's going on. So it's best you ask questions, man, and go about this in a, a tactical way so you don't get your child kicked out of school, get yourself locked up, and just create all type of negative consequences for yourself. You understand? Let's continue. Get get my kids put their hands on me. Get me a fuck I didn't know that was going to happen, man. Fuck you. go. Wow, 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 yo, he literally terrorized those little kids, man. So he's on there making all these threats. He's got a blunt in his hand. He's probably done enough already to go to jail. Do you understand? Terrorizing these little kids like that. All in an attempt to protect his daughter. Screaming out, bullying is wrong. Y'all ain't gonna be doing this bullying. Well, what do you think you're doing while you're watching these little kids cry back there? Scared of you. You gonna bully them into not treating your daughter a certain way? You should teach your daughter what to do in these situations. Who to talk to in these situations, okay? Pull the teacher to the side. Pull the bus driver to the side. Get the bus driver immediately. This is how you tell your, teach your child how to deal with this family. But if you teach them run head first into all these situations fighting, then you teaching them exactly how to go to jail, end up, uh, end up in prison or dead. Do you understand? This ain't the way to handle it. You're supposed to set the example, family. So he got on this bus yelling and screaming at little children. And you already know, family, if, if your child brought this video home, you're going to want to know who that man was and where he lives. Because he scared the crap out of your child, threatening to do something to your child. All the children on the bus didn't have something to do with that. So you're going to get on the bus and terrorize all these kids, man. That's so crazy that he thought that was the okay way to handle this. I don't care how angry you are. Whenever you go into a situation red hot like this, just yelling and screaming, you're going to look like the aggressor, the aggressor every single time. This was between children and he's sitting here mad at children, ready to fight little kids. I'm telling you, y'all, that's not the way to handle it. I don't care if, you, if your emotions are running that hot or not. That's just not the way to behave. Let children be children and you be the adult, okay? You supervise. You can't get in, get in it and fight their fights for them, though. You should have talked to their supervisor and said, you pay attention what's going on back there. Let me know what's going on because you don't know if your daughter's the aggressor. As you can see, your daughter's already running to the back to try and fight these people. Tomorrow, she'll probably go to school with her chest out thinking, I wish somebody would try me. All I got to do is go tell my fighting ass daddy. You understand? How do you know that she's not the aggressor? And even if she wasn't the aggressor, how do you know she won't be now? The, the children are scared. I can see why they wouldn't mess with her again. But who's to say she won't come in there starting crap? You got to ask questions, man. You got to sit people down and get to the bottom of things with your children because half the time you don't know what they're doing at school uh, comparing to what they're doing at home. So you can't be just running behind your children ready to fight people like this. That's the wrong way to handle it, family. Now, I want to point this out, okay? We raise our sons to defend themselves. Now, often what this turns into is them fighting violence with violence because they learn from their surroundings, right? Now, with our little girls, we try and protect them. We don't teach them to protect themselves. We tell them, come tell us what's going on and let us take care of it for them, right? 
Now, here's what that can create, and you got to be careful about this, okay? They can end up weaponizing you, okay? Now, you're saying use me as an option to protect yourself, to defend yourself in times like this. Well, when she goes to school, she's going to be saying, don't make me tell my daddy. I'm going to get my daddy. Do you not think that's weaponizing her father, knowing her father's going to come in acting like that? So in life, family, we got to teach children how to protect themselves, but also how not to be bullies. So if you teach a young man how to defend himself and how to fight, you also have to make sure he doesn't take that skill and use that to bully others, learning that that's a tool to use. So the same way, if you teach your, your little girl, hey, come tell us if something goes wrong, you also want to make sure that when she comes and tells you, you ask questions so she can see that she has to have answers. She has to have descriptions. She has to know what was going on because so, you're not going to just run out there uh, gung ho without knowing what's going on because you love her. The, the goal is to protect her. And that even means from herself. So you got to find out exactly what happened before you run off the rails acting crazy. And I'm not suggesting that our little girls are going to be liars, but they can be extremely emotional. And in the moment, they can see a thing a different way. And so if they go at the time that they're emotional, angry, sad, crying, those emotions will typically uh, translate over. And then now the person wants to go protect them from those emotions, not necessarily the, the, the thing that happened. You see your little girl crying. You see her upset. You're going to get mad instantly. Who did what to you? And you're already hot before she can even tell you. You understand? So be because she can be emotional, you have to be the logical one and break this thing down before you run out here acting crazy. Too many times we throw our own life away um, by trying in trying to protect someone or we'll, we'll make the person that we're trying to protect a much worse person by trying to protect them. You understand? You guys have seen this. People are not good with their money. And what do you do? Keep loaning it to them and they'll never get good with their money because they know they have you to fall back on. This is how trying to help somebody or save somebody can actually make them a worse person. You don't want to do this with your children. We know we're not promised tomorrow, so we want to make sure our children can protect themselves if we're gone, well, we don't want them using these type of things to protect themselves. They'll weaponize the government. They'll weaponize people around them. And all while they'll cause destruction all because of how they feel or because of something they want to accomplish. And this is not healthy family. So we got to be better about how we, how we structure and raise our children. And we need to set the example. That's all.